So what's good guys Adnan here and today I have something really very exciting so buckle up with your old android smartphone on to a little adventure these are the best android 7.1 nugget features that can be installed on any android device out there it is a good thing to note that some of the features in this video require root permissions and additional recovery flashes but for the safe nodes out there some really good features require nothing but official downloads with that out of the way let's roll on to the intro This has been floating around the internet for way too long even before the name Pixel was officially unveiled by Google Anyways This is the official launcher that gives you as close of a feel as an Android 7.1 or a Pixel device would. There are again two methods of installing this. If you have your device rooted like I have, then a simple flash from the recovery will do wonders. But if you just don't have the time to do all of that, then grab this APK file and it will do exactly the same thing. The only difference being you won't be able to swipe right to access the Google Now page. With the launcher, you can swipe up from a much bigger area to access your app drawer. and also will have spare room in your dock for that special app you've always wanted with the google assistant you no longer will need to launch google allo to have a great conversation with your virtual girlfriend if you're running android nugget then adding the following lines in the build.prop file will do the trick for you just make sure you have the latest apk of the google app and that's it for devices running android marshmallow however There is a really great expose module. Now again, I know this is an extra painful step to go through, but hey, it it's going to be all worth it in the end. The module Android Any5 will not only allow you access to Google Assistant, but will also give you many more options like the multi-window mode and more. I have done a separate video on its other features as well, so make sure you check it out for instructions and more. The new Google Dialer application in the two new Pixel devices has also been improved and basically totally overhauled. The new UI alongside the slick animations just make it a bit more unique and easier to work with. The beautiful caller ID and the ability to display information at a glance really makes it truly a great thing to look at when you're ignoring your annoying friend maybe. The best part about this segment of the video is that the Google Dialer can be directly installed as an APK file. Nothing else required. Just make sure you select it as your default call application though. Right alongside the Pixel launcher, the new Google Wallpapers application has also been released on the Google Play Store. But the good part about this is that you can download this directly and officially too. Once installed, you will have the same selection of wallpapers that the Google Pixel and the Pixel XL are going to receive with every update to this application. Google has taken notes from Apple's last year's flagship and has implemented the 3D touch functionality just as a long press. Wow. Both the Pixel and the Pixel XL have this amazing feature and with this enabled, you will be able to perform quick tasks like snapping a selfie or opening up a specific playlist without the need to navigate through the app itself. This, however, has already been added to the Great Nova launcher. To get this feature, enroll in the beta testing builds in the Google Play Store and download the Nova launcher beta. The option is enabled by default, so there's no options you need to mess around with. However, if you would like to keep this long press functionality with you, you might have lost the great Pixel launcher. But I've got you covered. Tweak these following settings in Nova Launcher to get as close as a feel to a Google Pixel device. Well, guys, that's been it for this video. If you guys think we can cross 500 subscribers by the end of 2016, do spend some time and efforts to share this video around with your friends. Well, this was fun and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.